Hold fast, nations at war. This standalone game set during the Napoleonic Wars and developed by Anvil Game Studios was released little over four years ago. Do you feel old yet? Now it was in September of the year 2017 that I released early alpha videos on this game, showing yet unseen footage and actually making that year the most successful of my channel yet in terms of views. Many players from Mountain Blade Napoleonic Wars were aching for something new, even back then, most of them having played the multiplayer DLC for many a year since its release back in 2012. Now they found themselves being hyped up for this latest Napoleonic era based game which, according to myself and many others, was hopefully going to be a successful successor. But were we wrong? It is time to find out what happened to Hold Fast Nations at War 4 years into release and what the plans of the developers are regarding the future of this game. Hold Fast Nations at War was released as Early Access back in September 2017 and the full version eventually was released back in March 2020. It offered a competitive and casual multiplayer first and third person shooter set during the Napoleonic era bringing both players of the Napoleonic Wars community as well as new players to its doorstep. It is safe to say there are still many players active on its servers, Steam charts confirming these statistics. At release there was a peak of about 1900 players and this number somewhat dropped in the months to follow, which is normal if we take into account that we are talking about a game within a niche and within a market that is oversaturated. Eventually, on average, about 200 to 400 players hopped onto the game in the months to follow. With each major update released along the way, like the new factions being added, such as Russia and Italy, it would cause for a sudden increase in players that particular month until things get back to its normal numbers again. Now, I have been working on a really big project regarding this game. I'm looking to delve really deep into it, lay bare its problems, but also praise its positives. This along with some of my regimental members and perhaps others if they are interested in it. Some I've yet to ask. We're going to review this game and possibly spend a lot of time on it. At least that's the goal. The game in my current opinion, and ever since 2018 I think, is not a successful successor to Mountain Blade Napoleonic Wars nor can it rival it. Although it is still a game you can have a lot of fun with, especially with friends. Hey, you. Run away. Hey, you. Run away. Yeah, make, make sure you subscribe to the French Monk. Who's the French Whoa. Monk? He's like a YouTuber. He, he, he does hold fast YouTube. He doesn't do enough hold fast. He doesn't do enough of it. He needs to do more. There are features in hold fast that make many people come and stay. The voice over IP, for example, which is a clever use for a game of this genre and the way that it contributes to how people play the game. This feature made sure that many a meme was made and lots of funny moments and laughs to be had. But then there's the... the gameplay mechanics, in particular the melee system, which was and is definitely a hot topic. This is something I'm going to discuss and go over in this upcoming review with friends and in particular with someone who won the Napoleonic Wars World Championship group fight of 2021. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to going through those details and perhaps even learn a bit more about Mountain Blade Napoleonic Wars melee mechanics in the process and how they compare to Holdfast and possibly other games. Oh. However, this video I'm talking about, this review, was supposed to be in the making and actually close to being uploaded, but I have to postpone it. Firstly, you can't review an early access game. The developers are constantly working on the game, improving mechanics. You never know exactly when something new is coming up or if a fix suddenly changes everything and it's therefore not fair to criticize a game or give an honest review when as soon as you release your video next day there's an update then that video is kind of obsolete in a way. So I held back on this video at the start and now four years after release, considering it's not in early access anymore, I figured I'd dive back into the game and really get into the meat of it. And then all of a sudden I heard from one of my regimental members that they are planning something new. The developers call it the big update. They've been teasing it for months and apparently they have been working on it for over a year. It would feature new gameplay mechanics, features and a lot more. A very ambitious project and I can see where they're coming from considering the competition, the feedback on their game from the community. 
But uh, yeah, this update is apparently so big that they have opened closed beta signups, where you are also subject to a non-disclosure agreement. Hence why they are being a little bit vague in describing what the update is about. Fairly interesting move on Anvil Game Studios their part. I obviously can't wait to see what they have in mind and what they've been working on. I'm intrigued to see the impact on the market of musket games as well. Resonant referred to it in his Battle Cry of Freedom livestream and I have an entire video on the topic. The various musket games trying to do one over on each other. The competition is fierce and they're all battling over this player base. And it is interesting to see that many of these standalone games are trying to replicate or improve upon the Mountain Blade Napoleonic Wars melee mechanics, almost all using the four direction system, but none of them seems to be able to rival it. Which game will eventually come out on top? So there's a very interesting dynamic there. Again, I can't wait to see what they're going to bring to the table and I'll try to keep you guys updated on that topic. If you are interested in following this news, make sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe for more videos and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care everyone.